What up YouTube? How are we feeling today? Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing fantastic. Back with another Modern Warfare 2 video and today we're going to talk about what universal attachments you should unlock and these will significantly help your class setups and or your warzone loadouts. We will focus on the muzzles, the lasers, the optics and the underbarrels as these hold the most universal attachments and in my opinion the barrels, the stocks and the rear grips are very specific to a weapon and most time just hold you back especially within multiplayer. I did a lot of testing myself but also of course kept an eye on the cut number gods, exclusive ace, J god and a few others. So let's get it started with the muzzle attachments. Starting with vertical and horizontal recoil, the attachments that will benefit both, but leaning a little bit more to the vertical recoil than the horizontal. The Seiken Trapped 40 is one of the most common ones and almost on every single gun, especially on the ARs, and can be unlocked by getting the STB 556 to level 4. The second one is the Bruin Pendulum and this will cover the SMGs and will be unlocked by getting the PDSW to level 29. So that's gonna be a decent grind but in my opinion definitely worth it. Then let's jump over to the muzzles that will help you with the vertical recoil control and there are quite a few but will help you out as most of the guns have a pretty heavy vertical recoil control especially with those first initial shots. The X10 parted is one of the most versatile and is unlocked at level 16 of the HCR 56. And then we have the Tempest GH50 what is exactly the same in form of stats but covers a different group of weapons and this will be unlocked when you get the tag V to level 14. And now for exactly the same stats, but for SMGs, you want to unlock the Fennec to at least level 10 to unlock the XRK Sandstorm. For some reason it might say it unlocks at level 19, but in reality it becomes available at level 10. And then at last, and especially for Warzone, I would recommend unlocking some silencers. And in my opinion, from the start, you should go for the Harbinger D20 that unlocks at level 18 of the STB 556 and the Echoless 80 that unlocks at level 14 of the Tag 56. These two will both boost your bullet velocity, damage range, recoil smoothness and of course the sound depression. The Harbinger has an extra con with the aiming walking speed but boosts up the rest a little bit more and this will mostly apply to ARs. I will make a little bit more of an extended guide on silencers but for now I recommend these two especially for ARs but there are a lot of other things coming with SMGs and of course whenever we get our hands on Warzone 2. Then let's talk about the underbarrels. For the wobbly guns in the game, the phase 3 grip is the must have for the recoil stabilization and will help you stay on target. This unlocks at level 9 of the vast nav, so definitely, definitely unlock the phase 3 grip. It will help you out tremendously. Then the second grip helps you for the overall recoil control and that's the VX pineapple. This will unlock when you get the 556 Icarus to level 14 and again it is a great attachment and you will find this a lot on your Warzone loadouts. And for the last one and probably one that everybody already has and it's a great addition if you have a spot left, it's the FSS Sharkfin. And this will help your weapon with no downsides whatsoever. So again, a great addition when you have an attachment spot open. And this will unlock at level 6 of the M4. And that's why I said you probably all have it already because everybody started with that M4. And then let's jump over to the laser attachments. And this wasn't my favorite as it will let your enemy know when you're aiming around the corner. But these attachments will help 
out a lot with your weapon stats, especially your ADS speed, what seems to be the way to go in the game. There are four lasers you need to keep an eye on. Two of those are an extra addition, just like the FSS shark fin that won't hurt your stats in any way and are a great addition when you have an extra attachment slot open. And these are the SZ 1 milliwatt pack that unlocks at level 2 of the SPR 208 and the Slager pack box that will unlock after you reach level 3 on the signal 50. So these two are very nice lasers, especially if you have attachment spot open on your gun, you can just easily add these and this will have no downside whatsoever. Then we have the last two lasers and we are starting with the must have laser, the FSS Oli V laser. This is hands down the best laser in the game, especially when it comes to ADS speed. And we all know within this game, the ADS speed is king. So this is a must have on a lot of class setups. And this will unlock with the EBR 14 when you reach it to level 10. And then for the last laser, we have the Canted Vibro. And this thing is freaking wild. It won't let you zoom in, but tilt your weapon to the side a little bit. And again, your ADS speed is significantly improved next to the aiming stability and the sprint to fire speed. And this will unlock when you get the tag 56 to level 10. And then last but not least, we have the optics. Last week, we already talked about the Cronin Mini Pro, what is in my opinion the best optic in the game at the moment. This blue dot side is unlocked at level 7 of the Expedite 12. And of course, for Warzone, you need your zoom, especially for the longer range fights. And for this, I have two recommendations. That is the VLK 4.0 and the Slager four times. The VLK 4.0 will be unlocked while playing with the cast off 762 and only requires to get to four levels. And then for the Slager four times, this will be unlocked by getting the Rap H to level 12. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the must-have attachments in the game right now, especially for multiplayer and on the up and coming Warzone. Today is the day that Warzone 2.0 and DMZ will be released. So until we get hands-on, we don't really know especially which attachment and especially which sites will be the ones to go for but i will definitely let you know on the channel so keep an eye on the channel we will come with a lot more warzone 2 dmz videos like this as well and of course some loadout class setups and everything but that's pretty much it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed don't forget to smash that like button hit that subscribers button and of course that notification bell pure prime out